Okay, gang, I finally decided to do it. I am sharing my world famous award winning chili recipe out to the world. So here it is. I know you guys have all been waiting for it. This is my world famous award winning chili recipe. Okay, today we're going to make my world famous award winning chili. Start off with some peppers and onions. Got some good diced tomatoes, a couple of different types of uh, bushes, chili beans, got some beef, some tomato paste, got to have some nachos, sliced bacon, and then the peanut butter and brown sugar. So these are the ingredients of my world famous award winning chili. We start by browning the burger. Next step, and I picked this one up for my mom, use scissors to actually dice up the bacon. First, cut it into strips like that. Scissors. Okay, all diced up. Just gotta cook it. I used to cook it right in the crock pot, but I've decided to keep the grease out and just cook it in a pan. So I'll cook it up and then I'll throw it in the crock pot. Just three slices of thick cut bacon from the deli. Just gotta cut it up. Got the burger cooking. We'll get that going. While we're getting that going, we're going to throw some of these things in the crock pot. So we'll start opening some cans. The jalapenos you've got to be careful with because it depends on how people like them because that can get hot. But we'll see. One of the keys with the hamburgers, you got to keep chopping it. Keep dicing it into little, small little chunks so that it stays small. Don't want big chunks, you know, like meatballs in it. And a lot of bacon starting to cook up. After these are done, we'll drain them, put them in the crock pot. Okay, first, start with the diced tomatoes. I like to use nicer ones. Just dump it in there. Good stuff. Sometimes I'll get some with Italian seasoning. These, I didn't do that. I just got the regular ones. Two big cans. 28 ounce cans. I'll go with some bushes. I like bushes for chili beans. I like getting two different kinds. The red beans. Got mild sauce this time. Sometimes I get hot when I want it spicy. Okay, nice color mix there with the two different kinds of beans. Looks good. Burger's about done, bacon's just about done. We're getting there, put some more stuff in there, got the color. The hard part is always dicing these things up. We'll get there. All right, we got the bacon, we got the burger, and really chili, it's really starting to take shape already. Look at that. And the bacon doesn't have to be perfect. Just dice it up into kind of regular pieces, gets the flavor, a little, a little secret there. I When I drained, uh, I drained the beef, but I actually left the bacon grease in the bacon pan because I'm going to make some eggs. Make them in there. So I'm starting to come together. Still got some stuff to do here. All right, next in is the tomato paste. Just one can. Sometimes I go with the smaller can. This time I went with the 12 ounce can. Uh, I'll stir that in, mix it up. That'll thicken it up, make it really nice and hearty. Okay, big secret ingredient number one. One here is the, uh, I guess number two, the bacon's probably number one. Big heaping tablespoon of peanut butter. We'll work that in and mix it around. You have to warn people, if you're giving this away, that it's got peanut butter in it because some people have allergies. So you can see it's already starting to get pretty full. No matter how often I do this, the thing is always too full. But you know what? It'll still be good. Just a few more things to put in. Okay, next secret ingredient, the brown sugar. I got this little small bowl, about that much. So it goes in there, basically a little more than a handful. Hey, about ready to put in. I usually go with two green peppers and one red one. Sometimes I'll get a yellow one and then a whole onion. It's just a sweet onion. Um, cut these up and throw them in the chili here. Okay, I got the red pepper in there. Start to fill things up. Got the green pepper diced up. You see I'm just dicing up, I don't know, half inch or so, little, little squares. Still got to do that throw the stuff in here. Okay, onions are diced up. As you can see, my crock pot is too full already, but we'll figure it out. Okay, there it is, stirred up. 
Looks like it might fit actually. The only thing I've got left to do is jalapenos. And this is really just a matter of, I like La Profrida, but how many of these you want to put in depends on the audience. So we'll see. Okay, I decided to put pretty much the whole jar in there, but I drained them really well, so I didn't get a whole lot of hot sauce and um, took the carrots out. The, or that brand has carrots. So anyway, just got to mix this up. Let it uh, cook on high for at least three hours. Okay, sure enough, there is a little too much in there. It's kind of going to overflow when I get it, so I'm going to have to dip some of it out. We'll take care of that here in a second. That is a full crock pot. This is a couple hours in. It's cooking up nicely, though. I have to get some of the fluid out so it doesn't overflow. Looking good. Okay, I took like a, almost a bowl full of just fluid out. It's looking good now. Still thick, and uh, but still got a ways to go. I tried a little bit, took a little sample. Still got a ways to go. Okay, it's cooking up some more. Got my extra. I'm actually gonna save that because it's got really good flavor. And um, I think I'm gonna have a little sample here. It's probably been about two and a half, three hours. I'm ready for ready for a try. Okay, here we go. First bowl. Let's see how it tastes. Delicious. All right, well, here's the finished product. It looks really good. I think it could actually cook for probably another hour or so, but look at those beans. Everything's looking good. Tastes delicious, spicy, but not too spicy. Another award winner.